Ben Geen was convicted of murdering two patients and causing grievous bodily harm to 15 others while working at Halton General Hospital in Banbury, Oxfordshire in 2003 and 2004. The case against Ben Geen was initially driven by the statistics of coincidence. During a two-month period at Halton General Hospital, 18 cases of respiratory arrest, RA, were observed with Ben Geen present on duty each time. RA events are relatively rare. There are on average only two to three such events per month at a typical hospital like Halton. So seeing 18 in a two-month period can certainly be considered abnormally high. And finding the same nurse on duty on each of these occasions is surely too much of a coincidence. Certainly such statistics drove the initial investigation. But by using the Poisson and binomial distributions and taking account of all possible sequences like the ones observed in the Ben Geen case throughout the country in a four-year period turns out not to be such an unusual sequence of events after all. So we're going to start by looking at the probability that in a specific hospital there'll be at least 18 of these RA events in a given two-month period. And for this, we're using a Poisson distribution for the number of events. So that's just defined as the Poisson distribution, where the mean is this rate parameter, which we're assuming is 6. Now we're going to look at variations of this, but let's assume that that was the accepted rate. It was 2 to 3 per month, so over a two-month period, we might expect 4 to 6, so we'll take the upper bound 6. So this is simply saying that if this number is greater than this number, where we've got the observation 18, then this is true or false. And you can see it's a very, very small probability. So it would be incredibly unusual to see in a specific hospital that number of RA events in a two-month period. And that hasn't even got to the point where we're considering the probability that the same nurse will be on duty in every one of those events. So this seems to be incredibly unlikely. But of course, we're not just interested in this single hospital. We want to see that the probability that something like this happens somewhere in the UK, let's say, over a longer period. Now, first of all, what's the probability that something like this happens in this specific hospital over a longer period than two months? Let's think about four years. How are we building the model here? Well, we've started with the probability of at least 18 of these events in one hospital in a two-month period. But now we're going to consider the probability that we'd see this at least once in a single hospital over a period of four years. So that's what this is. So the value here is simply the output of this. You can see it finds an input node and the link type is picking up the true value from the output node of the previous model. So this is defined as an output node and the true value there is that small value here and so that's the value that's input to this node. So now how many two-month periods are there in four years? Well there's 47 of those. There's months one and two, there's months two and three, there's months three and four etc. Up to month 48 which is actually 47 two-month periods. So the, the number of times that we'd see that event in 47 periods, this is going to be just a binomial distribution here, where the number of trials is simply the number of two-month periods, which is going to be 47 in this case. The probability of success is just this probability here. And of course, that's still almost certainly going to be zero, but actually, no, there's a, there's a slightly higher probability that it will be above zero. It's going to be at least one. That's 0.267. So that's the probability that it occurs at least once in a number of two-month periods. We've taken four years, which is 47 two-month periods. But of course, that's just one hospital. There are many hospitals in the country. So just looking back at the overall model, that's now going to go into multiple hospitals here, where again, we're defining that probability of it occurring at least once as the output node, which is going to go in the input to this one here. So this is simply being input from the previous model fragment. And we're assuming a thousand hospitals here. And the probability then that this occurs in at least one UK hospital in a four-year period is actually very high. It's over 93%. So it's very likely that in a four-year period, in at least one hospital in the UK, you will see more than 18 of these events in a two-month period. 
So that's what we've done there. Well, of course, now we've got to consider the probability that a nurse is going to be present at all of these 18 events. So we're assuming this distribution for the portion of time a nurse will be on duty. So that's defined as a t-normal distribution with mean 0.3, lower bound 0.1, upper bound 0.9 and some variance. And so you see that seems a reasonable distribution for the portion of time that a nurse will be on duty. So most nurses are on duty for 0.3 of the time, some are less and you get a few who work a lot of the time. So the probability that a nurse will be present during all 18 events is 0.08%, it's very low. But of course, that's a nurse present at all 18 events. We've got to look at one hospital and multiple nurses. So we're taking that probability as input from that previous fragment. We've now got 50 nurses in a given hospital. So each of them had that, that very low probability of being present at all events. But when we consider the number of nurses in the hospital, 50, again, the binomial distribution is used here, we've got a 3.9% probability that at least one nurse will be in hospital during all 18 events. Go back here. So that's that. And finally, we merge those the probability at least one nurse is present at all 18 events. And the number of times more than 18 events occur Again, that's a binomial distribution and the probability and the probability that this is going to be at least one, which is that there'll be a hospital where at least one nurse in the hospital is present during all 18 events is almost 10 percent. So that's the final probability that somewhere in the UK during a four year period that there will be one of these strange sequences of events purely by chance, in which one nurse will be present at all 18 of the events. It's not a high probability, but it's by no means completely unusual. It's 10%. And we can see how sensitive it is to these results. So for example, we did it over a four-year period. If it was over, let's say, a, a six-year period, because we could be looking at that. So this here will be 71 here. And we run the model recalculate everything here. Everything gets keep recalculated. And this, the final one, has now been pushed up to 14.6%. But what happens if the number of RA events was overestimated, the typical rate? Suppose that should have been five rather than six. That'll make a big difference. The probability is now less than 1.5%. So that would be unusual, not incredibly unusual, but still, still would be unusual. It makes a big difference there. 